America. Good morning, Facebook. I was wondering if you think this is a good idea. Somebody took my black paint out of my office where it really all started when I got chased to Michael's by a bunch of fucking crazy people with lights. But um, um, I found some really interesting people at the post office that are triggering me this morning. Um, a thug, especially. Um, and I need to fish out some other people, so I'm going to go smoke them out today. But I thought I'd wear a black face so that when I'm done smoking them out and the FBI or whoever the fuck needs to show up and listen to me for once, um, when they show up, I'm, I want to get a job. So I'm going to make sure I put on a black face so I can um, have my best chance at getting a job with maybe the FBI or maybe I could be someone's little gopher something. Um, anyway, what do you think? I'm going to start playing Reveille in the morning at my house every morning. Um, except it's not going to be at seven o'clock. I'm tired. Anyway, y'all have a good day. I'm going to go to Michael's right now. As soon as I wash this crap off my face and buy black paint. And then I'm going to go to the post office. Have a good day. Thanks for still being my friend. And I'm trying to fish out whores and sugar daddies and people who are not here legally doing bad things to our kids. Please understand, I'm not crazy. Don't call Officer Wagner. I'll call him myself. Just everybody have a great day. Your best day. Bye. Hey, Facebook. I'm looking for a job today. I'm at Starbucks. I never treat myself to Starbucks since the post office got rid of me. Um, I barely treated myself to Starbucks when I was working there. I couldn't afford it. Trump is coming. I'm showing my titties. I have somebody across from me that's showing his too. I'll post his picture later. It's hilarious. You guys have got to see this. Anyway. Uh, wish me luck. I'm going to the post office for a job. They will never recognize my picture now. <laughs> they could put me on the FBI wanted list. <laughs> have a good day. I'm going to have me a Nakai refresher. Okay. If you want um, the rest or the, if you want what this stuff is, and if you've never had it, you've got to come down to Starbucks. I'm off of Mississippi and 225. Okay. Stay tuned. It's going to be candid camera, lights, camera, action today. They'll never recognize me. <laughs> Have a good day. Everyone, it's Ursilia. Hoping you're all doing good. I know you all stay tuned. Um, so, yeah. So, I have um, Secret Service chasing me. I have um, officers undercover for the post office. Officer Wagner. Um, Aurora police. And so I'm leaving them little crumbs everywhere I go. Um, I'm actually littering. I'm littering in my car. I'm littering all over the street. I'm a unicorn today. I'm a unicorn and I'm leaving my poop all over the place. I just want to show you. It's great. Here it is. Jesus told me to do it. Don't worry, everybody. It's biodegradable. Okay, so when it rains, it's no problem. This will eventually be uh, biodegradable. And um, I'm not littering. I'm gonna go. Um, I'm gonna go show the people at the airport what to do because they bring their fucking trash from all over the place and wherever the fuck they come from, and they leave it here, including, including actual aliens. They're all working at the post office. I'm going there next. I gotta go back to Frank's house and sprinkle some Jesus over there and then I'm gonna go to the post office I'm done I'm exhausted I'm sweaty I haven't taken a shower I dropped a Starbucks drink all over me I'm just gonna go back and sprinkle some some um, unicorn poop <laughs> the places that I've been today so that when officer Wagner comes looking for me I'm gonna tell him to to um, that I left him breadcrumbs <laughs> on Facebook everywhere out where I go this is it everybody I'm going to go spread this lovely breadcrumbs all over the place so that they know where I've been and they know what to do. And instead of chasing me, they need to tell everybody to come to Jesus. Okay, I'm kind of sick of it.
I'm waiting to go. I'm waiting to go to court. I want to go to court. I want to get called for jury duty. That's my favorite. You're going to love my outfit. I'm going to go have my friend Lucy make my outfit. It's going to be so cute. I'm going to go get my nails done. I'm going to get all kinds of jewelry. I'm going to look like Mr. T's wife. Okay, everybody, stay tuned. Love you all. Okay, everybody, I'm fucking sick of these young people thinking that they know what to do. And everybody, you can fucking blame all these fucked up teachers. Miss Gold, Mary Lombardi, Bill Gold, anybody who took place in fucking indoctrinating our kids. They're the only teachers that I'm going to call out right now. I'm going to just want you to go on, be a witness for Jesus. Go on Facebook and have a testimony to what you've seen. Because come on, Mary, while Adelia was dying, almost had a heart attack herself because I was saying that. And you know what? I don't give a fuck. Come on, Mary. I'm entitled to my fucking opinion. And if you can't see straight because you can't see through the fucking rainbow flag or what comes out of Miss Gold's fucking hooch, that's not my problem. Okay? Have a nice day. God is going to save you too in the end. Just keep... Hey, everybody. I'm going back to Frank's house. Okay? Here's what Frank wanted to do. Ready? He wanted me to sell my mom's house. Okay? Once I got the property in my name so that they could open up a bar. Okay, well, I wouldn't do it because I'm not a fucking sucker. I do know the Riveras. I couldn't leave them because I had children and I tried to do what God was telling me at the time. But um, I can tell you, he wanted me to open up, literally wanted me to open up a bar with my mom's money, my poor mother's money. Get out of the way, you dumb fucker. What are you? This, that, he, him, she, fuck you. Okay, here's I'm at Frank Rivera's house and I got... I got little bridesmaids running around. Frank's bridesmaid is out here, okay? So he wanted me to sell my mom's house, okay? And I said, fuck you, Frank. I'm not fucking selling my mom's house, okay? And he said, he tried and he fucking tried and he fucking tried and I'm like, absolutely the fuck not, Frank. I am not selling my mom's house. That is off the fucking table, okay? So then somehow that stupid Maria Rivera, Elena Rivera, she gets what she's got coming to her. Let me tell you, God, God is good. So they called Maria Elena to the table. And Maria thinks that her kids are so santo and santas, right? And they're all fucking praying to the fucking Santa Muerto. Okay. So, so they go to Maria Elena Rivera, la viejita. Okay. Their mama. And they say, hey, can we have some money? We're going to open up a bar. Okay, so then they go find Tiger and Denise, three Ds, those fucking biker bitches. Okay, I hate to say it, those bitches were my ride, ride or die at one time too, okay? I was friends with Denise Maldonado. I would, that's, those were my rocker days, okay? I didn't know she was friends with Javier and Regina at the post office. These people are all in bed together. They're all fucking connected. And they have all know that I'm not one of them. So they all spin a fucking story, okay? They all fucking spin a story on me so that nobody will listen to me and the Secret Service will fucking come, okay? And God knows what and steal my kids and steal my joy. You know what that is, right? That's the devil, okay? I'm even going to bless Frank here, watch, in the Rivera's. Frank and the Rivera's, I told you guys Jesus was coming. Nobody listens to me, okay? Jesus talks to me, everybody. Jesus talks to me. I'm not roasting you here because of me. I could care less. I haven't given a fuck about a lot of you for a long time. Go ahead, come on, Mary. You go first. You know. Go ahead, Miss Gold. What did you have to say when they came knocking on your door about my kids and what kind of a mother I am? Yeah? Hi, Mr. Gold. Follow me around town. Okay? Follow your dumb sister. Okay? Follow your dumb sister. Are you married? Maybe you can find one or maybe you can help me investigate your sister. Start a guardian angels, okay? Are the stories true about you doing weird stuff to little kids? I actually was giving you the benefit of the doubt, but now that I keep running into you, I'm starting to fucking second guess that whole fucking deal too. Going into landscape business, I don't know. They, Mr. Gold, maybe you're just like me. Maybe your fucking sister is the devil. Have you thought of that? I don't fucking know. I didn't want to believe that Denise Maldonado and Regina with the Archuleta were fucked up at the post office either. But you know what? I am having so many revelations here. I'm throwing all my rainbow out all over here on Troy Street. Don't ask me why. Because you know what? I think God has something real big for this motherfucker here. Real fucking big. Okay, I'm sorry for all the cussing people. Do you realize I haven't seen my kids in how many years? 
How many years? Okay, those kids are a reflection of me. Go look at the Riveras and all their fucking pictures of their fucking kids and tell me who my kids are. Tell me if they're Italian or Mexican. I just ran into two bitches at fucking Starbucks. I can tell you who they are. As soon as they open their mouth, I can tell you where they went to school. I can tell you who they are. I can tell you their mamas. I can tell you their daddies. Listen to me. Okay, nobody told the story better than Dolores. What the fuck? Dolores Rivera. Okay, she was at my house, and I love Auntie Dolores, and Auntie Dolores is watching me right now, Rose, her, her family too. Okay, Auntie Dolores says to me, she says, oh, she, we used to pick her up and take her to her nursing home. She was a hoot. She was the George Lopez got all his material from Auntie Dolores, let me tell you. the Look up George Lopez. Tell me that the story about his tia and that puta that wakes up with a feather in her hat naked in the backyard is not auntie dolores i mean i don't have to roast these people have all been roasting the riveras for a long time okay and if you're connected to the riveras next time you turn on the tv look and see who you are okay okay facebook i'm gonna tell you how just i am okay me and my aunt adelia be going like this. tell you i just want to tell you that i tried pulling this i don't want to go to school shit on her and my aunt Dilly didn't play. She, you were going to fucking school, okay? I tried playing that bellyache stuff. She made me go to fucking school. I will tell you, the Lombardi family, press in, okay? Just press in and have a little bit of faith, okay? I'm exposing people, yes, but I've got to be willing to take my people down with me to uncover a bigger picture here, okay? So I'm just telling them the truth. And if you have some truth to say about me, then fucking post it, okay? Does he tell me, stop calling my fucking house telling me to go to a mental hospital or to jail, okay? I'm fucking sick of it. The next time I hear you fucking say anything, I'm going to post all kinds of shit about you, okay? And no, no, I told you no, no was going to be rolling in his grave for doing what you did to my mom. Didn't I tell you that was my grandpa's only mom? Now, now you can fucking talk to me later, okay? Thank me later when Jesus comes, okay? I'm going to save you. I'm not going to make none of you go to jail for all the fucking bullshit you pulled on me, okay? Julia's fucking shaking. You understand? I don't know what happened there. That's what we're talking about. I have my thoughts and I have the same God here, okay? I'm just trying to make a little thing right here, okay? Everybody, everything is so simple and everyone is such a fucking clown. to prove that Jesus is coming, okay? I, I was going to go kidnap my kids at Frank's house, but guess what? Jesus is gone. She's probably going to take my own copy I'm fucking done. This shit's going to fucking stop today. And if I go to jail, somebody better fucking bail me out. Or I'm going to fucking come to you next. <laughs> okay, Jeff. I'm going home now. Um, I'm saving the rest of my glitter, my, my unicorn poop. I'm saving the rest of this for my neighbors, Sundown and Belinda and, um, Mark and Rob, Rob, Mark Lineman. Anybody fucking have him come walk through your door claiming that you're racist and try to fucking get a free service. They're my neighbors. Okay. That's what they do. Um, how, how do I know this? Because he literally willingly admitted it to me. This is how fucking stupid he is. Okay, don't ask me. See, Jesus is in the picture too when I talk. He's watching me too. Now, Mark, the first thing he says, if he, if you own a business, you'll know, right? This is what he said to me. Mark says to me, he, the first thing he tells somebody when he goes into the business, this is the gay one, not sundown. He says, he goes into the business and he says, I'm a veteran. Okay, I served in the military. I'm gay. I can't remember. I don't. I think that was pretty much it. I a few other things he said. I can't remember. And then, as soon as as soon as they say anything, anything, then that's when he gets free service, free free gifts from Amazon, free whatever the fuck he gets at his house. Um, and that's what he does.